It's Friday, fool. And you need this tool. All right, guys, this is my oldest daughter, Lawton Voss. She has her own YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is Life with Lawton, and make sure you subscribe. If you have any kids her age, 11, 12, 13 years old, tell them to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop or that I have featured on this channel. You ever feel like just busting a nut? I feel the comments filling up right now. I can feel it. They're filling up. But seriously, have you ever had the need to just break a nut in half? Like it's seized on a bolt or it's rusted, you can't get it off, maybe it's stripped. You just need to get that nut off that bolt. Best way to do that, split it in half, right? You ever have the need to do that? You ever have the need to bust a nut? Well, this week's tool does just that. It is called the nut splitter. It's called the nut splitter, and that's what it does. It splits nuts in half, and this is what it looks like. So one side, it has this really sharp Splitter, sharp splitter. This thing kind of works like uh, a wood splitter. So if you ever used a wood splitter before, on one side it has a, the actual part that splits the wood, on the other side it has a hydraulic cylinder that pushes the wood into it. That's basically how this thing works, except it's made for nuts. That just slides in there like that. You tighten it down, and then theoretically, as you tighten this, it's gonna split that nut in half. Or at least it's gonna split one side of it. Let's give it a try. All right, so I've mounted it in this vise. And really this is in an effort to keep this thing from spinning while I tighten the bolt in it. Normally, the bolt that you're getting the nut off is gonna be in something, you wouldn't need to do that. But uh, I wanna keep this thing still so you can see the splitting in action. All right, let the nut busting commence. <sighs> so you can see it's starting to cut into the nut down here. Now it is taking a good bit of force in order to make this happen. I think it'd be a little bit easier if the bolt itself was like in a car or something where you didn't necessarily have to hold it while you tightened it. So the vice idea, at least the tabletop vice idea is not working. Let's uh, let's go mount this bad boy in a real vice and see if we can bust this nut over there. You can see that it's already starting to oblong the nut. So it's start, starting to take the thing, kind of squish it. You can see the cutter on the bottoms already penetrating that nut pretty well. All right, well, that worked. You can see that it's basically just taking this nut and that wedge just kind of split it along the top. Now, it didn't split it exactly all the way through. Uh, there's still a little bit of material hanging on to it, but what it did do when it split it, it kind of spread it apart. And, um, you know, if this was maybe a, a bolt or a nut that was rusted on, um, it would it would kind of break it free from the threads where you could get it off Now 
Now I will tell you, in the process of splitting this nut, I actually broke the tool. So, worked fine when I was tightening it down, you know, while I was splitting the nut, but as I tried to undo it, it basically just bound up in there, it seized up. The threads inside this thing seized up on me. I don't feel like I did anything wrong. I mean, I did have to put an ass load of pressure on this thing in order to split that nut, but that's what it's made for, right? To split nuts, if you're not splitting it, then you need to put more pressure on it. That's at least my feeling on it. I guess the other thing is that this thing could be made to do smaller, slightly smaller stuff. This was probably on the upper end of the scale as far as what this thing can handle. I mean, it just barely did fit in there, so I don't know. This particular tool was at the lower end of the scale as far as price goes, so maybe some of the little more expensive ones might be a little better. I don't know, better materials or something. I will, uh, I will drop links in the description of several of these. You can go check them out. If you end up getting one and trying it, uh, let me know how yours did. I was reading the package right here. It says it has a lifetime warranty, so that bad boy will be going back. Well, there you go. This week's tool, the Nut Splitter. As always, thank you for joining me on this episode of You Need This Tool and watching me try to bust a nut. I'm sure I'll see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool!